So for anybody watching, uh, can you actually describe to me where we are right now? We are in, a, in a real catacombs. Uh, we are six stories underground in a space carved in the 1300s. Um, and uh, it is cold, and it is uh, <laughs> dank, <laughs> and uh, it's uncomfortable. So yeah, this isn't a, a stage set up at a, at a nice hotel. But you can't, as a, the general public, actually come down here. These aren't the catacomb systems that you can visit as, with all the bones, and these are different, uh, different ones. Um, we shot in all of the different kind of systems um, in Paris, but this one particularly we used the most. I was going to say, I mean, where do you get the inspiration for a, for a story in a film like this? Did you kind of come down here first as tourists and then think about making a movie? No, we, I, you know, I had tried to do the, the tour uh, when, I, when I was in Paris years ago and uh, it was closed that, when I was here. Um, but we, we really, it started with the character. We really wanted to do a, a, a kind of found footage Indiana Jones type movie. And, uh, but we didn't really have a, a good place for it to go. And, uh, and Thomas Tall, the head of Legendary, called us and said, I'd love to do something in the Paris catacombs. Do you have any ideas? And it was like, oh my God, that would be perfect. And, uh, and so we went in the next day and pitched him an idea. And four months later, we were here shooting. So obviously this movie, it's kind of part horror. It's part action adventure. It's set in this incredible location. What was Romance. it? Romance. Romance. <laughs> what was it that drew you both to the project? I love movies that are that are adventures and that are treasure hunts and that you're you're searching for something and and, and then and then it's based in in real history and and or or folklore. Uh, that's super cool to me. It really kind of has that Indiana kind of Jones feel mm -hmm. to it. Dan as well. Brown a little, yeah. Yeah, and you kind of you know working it out as we go along. And, and um, as you were saying, we're not just you know dumb kind of students that accidentally happened upon you look know, at that something. scary house let's oh, walk let's go. in it's dark we you know we have a purpose we have a real purpose and you know we know what we're doing um mm. we're professionals and we're after something and so i, I feel it's, we don't it's make like someone now. said the other day to me we don't make terrible decisions which usually horror movies are about people true. making terrible decisions and you go why would you don't do that, don't do that. and then you just idiot. like annoyed at them and then they die and you're like serves you right yeah and that doesn't Not really so happen. In this. I mean, was it as creepy to film down here as it is to, to see on screen? No. If it was, that would have been the worst job ever yeah, and anybody's great. ever had. Um, no, it was a lot of fun being down here, I think. I mean, it was definitely less comfortable. Um, and you're far away from the rest of the world and bathrooms. Um, <laughs> but it's it's cool like it's you know you, you feel cool. like you're a tourist all the entire shoot did anybody take it upon themselves to try and prank anyone when they were down here no we, we what? can't we... i got pranked all the time did you francois was constantly jumping out francois specifically yeah francois yeah. specifically you, maybe you're mm. easy to scare and edwin actually did it as well i'm really easily scared like really easily if you just walk into a room and i'm not expecting to see you in broad daylight i'll scream so, um. <laughs> That's how she got the part. So. She was just passing the director on the street. He's like, ah! He's like, you're in. Nowadays, obviously, horror films, if they're successful, they end up having sequels. Um, would you guys be interested in coming back? And what kind of thing would you want to see? Have you heard something? Are you going to, can you give us, can you make that happen? <laughs> Maybe. Are you directing the sequel? <laughs> I think, yeah, anybody, hmm. anybody involved in this production would be thrilled to get back together, get the gang back together and run around screaming for their lives again. And it's, it was so much fun. And like explore somewhere else cool, you know, knowing that that's, if that is a formula, that's a form I re really enjoy films like that, where you kind of yeah. go to a place that you've never seen before and you kind of unlocking sort of cool things that actually, you know, are historically accurate and all of that. And if learning. we can trick audiences into like really learning a lot about aw awesome places they might not know about the way we were kind of tricked into it, mm -hmm. uh, it would be really cool. Yeah. I think people would dig it. 